Hi there. So in this video, we're going to be doing extra practice module 40. So we actually, <clears throat> we skipped uh, 38 and 39. Of course, if you want in this PDF, if you want to go through and take a look at those, that's fine. Um, so we'll get started here. Check your understanding. Number one it says, how are long run economic growth and short run fluctuations during a business cycle represented using the PPC? And so, you know, the, the long run is shifts, right? Long run is shifts. And the kind of business cycle, cycle fluctuations are points, is kind of the way to say that. So the long run <clears throat> growth would be shifting the curve, right? But the, the different kind of amounts like expansion, recession, that's the distinction here between growth and expansion. And it's the idea of like your different capacity versus different amount that you're currently producing. The second part says, um, how are long run growth and short run fluctuations in using ADAS? And so here, you know, long run, would be LRAS kind of moving back and forth, right? So long run are shifts in what we call the long run. Um, we'll move that over there. So long run is shifting that. We know that's PL, that's Y. Um, but the short run are shifts in ED or SRAS. And that's how we model short run shifts. Let's take a look at these multiple choice questions here. Number one says, which of the following will shift the PPC outward? An increase in the production of investment goods. That would do it because investment spending yields more capital formation, which yields economic growth. Um, an increase in the production of consumer goods would not. That would just change where we are. And technological progress would also do that because that's how you combine the resources that you already have. So one and three, so that is D. Number two, in the PPC model, Long run economic growth is shown by an outward shift of the PPC. So that's A. Number three, the reduction in the value of an asset due to wear and tear. So this is unlikely you're going to see these um, on the, the um, AP test or anything like that. The correct answer is depreciation, um, but I am not going to put that one on the quiz. Number four, let's move a little bit. In the aggregate demand aggregate supply model, long run economic growth is shown by a rightward shift of the LRAS. So where do we see that? Rightward shift of the LRAS is C. And number five, which the following is listed among the key sources of growth and potential output. So it'd be um, you know, investment spending or capital formation or something like that. So um, expansionary fiscal and monetary policy isn't gonna create growth necessarily. It'll change where our output is. Rightward shift of short run aggregate supply wouldn't necessarily always create growth, right? That could just be lower inflationary expectations. Um, investment in human capital would definitely do it, uh, but not both A and B. So, so D is the correct answer here. Okay, free response. Oh, look, my allergies are acting up today. Allergies. Number two, um, draw a separate correctly labeled aggregate demand and aggregate supply graph to illustrate each of the following situations. So we need two graphs. Um, and it says... So we'll need, and it, the, the two scenarios, one of them starts in a recession. So the very first one is in a recession. It says expansionary fiscal policy moves the economy out of a recession. So we have to start in a recession and then we move out of it with more aggregate demand, but a bing, but a boom. That one's done. Investment in infrastructure by the government leads to long run economic growth. Um, it's funny, actually, right now, the government is debating a huge infrastructure bill. Um, so it's kind of funny that, that we would have that. So um, this one, right, LRAS, and you can actually kind of say, you know, more aggregate demand here. And so aggregate demand goes to there. But then this is, this is where this one kind of gets a little wonky, right? The increased aggregate demand would increase um, the, the, the productivity of the economy. Right, in the long run. And so SRAS would eventually shift to the right. So that's like, you know, then we get to there. Um, and we know that eventually, right, LRAS will eventually catch up with them. And that's the economic growth part. So, um, so it's a triple shift. Whoa. 
um, you're not going to be asked to do something like that on the test. But the idea is, is that the investment spending, the infrastructure spending increases the aggregate demand. And so initially, right, you would go from like point A to point B. But then as that, that infrastructure really increases productivity, it would shift us over here with SRAS3 to point C. And if that's a permanent increase, which it is, then, then the LRAS is going to also move with them. Um, leading us to have the same prices that we were at before, but a significantly larger amount of real and potential output. All right, hopefully that helped you. See you next time.